Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Saxophone Factory. My name is Willie Lawson. Uh, I am the chief bottle washer and, and teacher and all that stuff here at the Saxophone Factory. Trust that you are well. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> back. Uh, and I'm feeling great. I am. I am. I am feeling super duper. I really am. And I'm, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm kind of nervous because I'm excited about playing this second unit of the uh, Rubank Advanced Method for Saxophone for you. It's been a while. It's been a while. And in that time, we have jumped the broom. We have gotten to 1,000 subscribers. 1,044, I believe, at last count. Thank you ever so much. That's all because of y'all. We appreciate that. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the well wishes as we get, as we get through this thing. Uh, so we're going to start on Unit 2 today and we're going to finish we're going to finish unit 2 today. Uh, as you you know as as you know the, um, the advanced methods are broken into units that cover all sorts of things. Um, let me let me read them to you that way I I am sure that I am getting them correct. Um, it is scales and arpeggios, uh, melodic interpretation, articulation, fingering exercises, ornamentations and a solo and it's all handled in one unit. Um, the units are broken down into 36 units, which mirror a school year. Certain exercises are repeated uh, to make sure that you really have them. Uh, and, like the solos are, re are, are repeated. We're going to do the same solo we did last time um, today as well, So and the same ornamentation. But, you know, that reputation, the, the repetition isn't going to hurt anybody. All right, well, let's, let's get started. Let's hop on in. So we'll go to a page five, number two. All right, here we go. Page five, number two. Now we're going to do our scale, our ex exercise in thirds. That's on page six, number six. Here we go. is if you want to change the articulation on these you can you can slur them all you can tongue them all you can you can change your articulation to slur to tongue to <laughs> whatever you want to make it more interesting for you but that's page that's page six number six the next one is page 20 number two let's see if we can zip down the page 20 real quick on the old computer screen, page 20, number two. All right, page 20, number two. Okay. One, ready, go. <laughs>
this particular exercise or etude do it <clears throat> has a minuetto DC. That means go back to the beginning of the minuet and play until you get to the fine. And the beginning is the very beginning of, of the minuet and play until you get to the the middle where it has a double bar with a fermata over it. That's the fine. All right, cool. On to the next one. Page 44, number two. Fingering exercises number three and four. All right, here we go. You can play them in cut time or you can play them in four, four time. I'm going to try to find somewhere in, in the middle. Here we go. One, one, one ready? <laughs> Page 60, number one. Now, what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to make sure that we can finger through these trills and make sure that we're fingering evenly. So when we play the trill up to speed, things are even. So they've broken them, they, they've broken this particular these trills down um, to 16th notes. So if we're playing in 4-4 time, it's just 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1. Okay. And we can also play it in cut time. I don't know how to say those, and I and I can't say them that fast anyway. But I can say them in, four, in cut time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. We want to make sure that we're that we're doing it evenly. Okay. So start these slowly. And then work your way up. There you go. One. line there are two asterisks uh, when you're going from B to C and then from C to D now from B to C here's what you would never do you'd never go da 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 unless you were I don't know in seventh grade or fourth grade here the saxophone has figured that out for us we are going to hold down our B key because we're fingering up to the C and here, the middle side key, in combination with the B key, is a C. B, C, 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 B. Got it? All right. Now, the second asterisk is on the C. And here's what we wouldn't do. We wouldn't go C, 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 D, C, C, D, C, D. We just wouldn't. Nobody would do that. Don't do that. The saxophone figured it out for us. If you hold down the C key, which is right here, and you add this key right here, the middle palm key, C, D, C, D, C, D. There you go. Don't think it's this one, because this is our D key, so we think that that's it. It's actually the middle one. 
and it's only going to work in trills because it's not exactly, it's not, it's not very much in tune, doesn't sound good all by itself. So it's never a note you want to land on, okay? You don't want to land on this fingering for, you know, for an for alternate D. But only like in a trill. Then you use it then. All right, <clears throat> on to the next one. All right, now we're going to do page 66, number one, one more time. Uh, this time I'm going to try to, to invoke as much of the dynamics as I can, and that's and that's what we try to do. You know, uh, you know. I think you have like six. We have six weeks to do this one, and we're trying to make it better every single time. Add vibrato, all the things that we normally work on, phrasing to try to make it performance ready. So here's our second run through of page number sixty six, number one. It is the minuet from Orpheus. Uh, and look at the, looking at the roadmap, there's a first and second ending um, on the second line, and it's pretty much straight through. Here we go. One. Ready? <sighs> Was page 66, number one. The second time. Hope to get back to you and do unit three as soon as I can. Thank you again for hanging out with me. Thanks for the 1,044 subscribers. Share this with your friends. Share this with everybody you know who cares about playing saxophone and cares about playing saxophone correctly. Can't wait to hear from you. Till we see you again, keep playing. <laughs>